Have you ever seen a blacksmith work a piece of glowing steel? Maybe in a movie or one of those satisfying forging videos online. You'll notice the steel changing colors, glowing red, then orange, yellow, and even blue at times. But why does that happen? Is it just heat or is there something deeper going on? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of metallurgy and physics to understand heat and steel, what causes the color change, and what those colors actually mean right here on History of Simple Things. Before we get into the color shift, let's take a quick look at what steel actually is. Steel is an alloy, mostly made of iron, with a small percentage of carbon and sometimes other elements like chromium, manganese, or nickel, depending on its intended use. It's everywhere, used in buildings, tools, cars, knives, you name it. Steel's properties change depending on how it's treated. You can make it hard, soft, flexible, or brittle just by heating and cooling it in specific ways. And that's where temperature and color come into play. So, why does any object glow when it's heated? To understand this, we need to touch on a bit of physics, specifically something called blackbody radiation. When you heat up an object, the energy excites its atoms. This excitement causes them to vibrate and emit electromagnetic radiation. As the temperature increases, the type or wavelength of light emitted changes. At first, that radiation isn't visible to the human eye. It's in the infrared range. But as the temperature climbs, the light becomes visible, starting with a dull red glow. Keep heating, and the color shifts to orange, then yellow, and eventually white or blue. It's the same principle behind the color of stars. Cooler stars look red, hotter stars appear blue or white. The same thing happens with steel, just on a smaller earthly scale. Now, in the case of steel, there are two types of color changes happening when it's heated, and they're not the same thing. The first is incandescence, the glowing we just talked about. As steel gets hotter, it literally glows. At around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, about 480 degrees Celsius, steel begins to emit a dull red glow. Heat it more, and it turns cherry red, then orange at around 1,650 degrees Fahrenheit, 900 degrees Celsius, yellow around 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, 980 degrees Celsius, and finally, white above 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,100 degrees Celsius. But there's another type of color change that's not about glowing. It happens at lower temperatures, between 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 600 degrees Fahrenheit, about 200, 315 degrees Celsius, when the steel is not glowing visibly. These are temper colors, and they're caused by a super thin layer of oxide that forms on the surface of the steel. So, what's going on with these temper colors? When you gently heat steel, Oxygen in the air reacts with the surface and creates a microscopic layer of iron oxide. The thickness of this oxide layer determines how light reflects off it, and that's what creates those iridescent colors. You'll see a rainbow of shades depending on the exact temperature. Pale yellow, straw, brown, purple, blue, and even gray. It's like a heat-induced mood ring. Each color corresponds to a specific temperature range, and blacksmiths or bladesmiths use this as a guide during heat treatment. This brings us to a key idea, heat treating. Heat treating involves heating and cooling steel in precise ways to achieve specific mechanical properties. There are three main steps, hardening, tempering, and sometimes annealing. First, Steel is heated to a high temperature until it glows, then rapidly cooled or quenched in oil or water. 
This locks in a very hard but brittle structure. Then comes tempering, where the steel is gently reheated to a lower temperature. This reduces brittleness and adds toughness. And guess what? Those temper colors we just talked about? That's how a skilled smith knows when the steel is just right. No fancy thermometers needed. Just a trained eye and the color of the surface. Not all steel reacts the same way to heat. Different alloys behave differently. Some stainless steels, for example, contain chromium, which forms a different type of oxide layer when heated. That can change the colors you see or how they appear. In high carbon steels, used in knives or tools, you'll get more defined temper colors, which is why bladesmiths love working with them. Meanwhile, low carbon steels might not show those hues as clearly or they may oxidize differently. And it's not just steel. Other metals like titanium and niobium also show striking color changes when heated due to similar oxidation and interference effects. Jewelers sometimes use this deliberately to create colorful metal art. Okay, so we know steel changes color due to heat, but why does it matter in the real world? Well, it's a quick and reliable way to tell how hot your metal is, especially before thermometers were common in workshops. Even today, experienced blacksmiths and metal workers rely on color as a heat gauge. It's also crucial for safety. Overheating steel can ruin its structure, while underheating might not make it hard enough for use. There are a few misconceptions out there too. One is that the glowing colors are the same as temper colors. As we've seen, that's not true. They happen at different temperatures and have different causes. Glowing is from heat-induced radiation, while temper colors come from oxidation. So, the next time you see steel glowing or shifting colors, whether it's in a forging video or during a DIY project, you'll know there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Steel changing color isn't just a beautiful side effect of heat, it's a window into the atomic world and a language spoken fluently by blacksmiths and engineers alike. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.